is 15. Nikki's Madison's mom. Here. Pay attention, Nikki. Nikki. Oops. There you go. Crunch, oh, crunch, swallow. They'll eat this like popcorn. <laughs> okay, now we'll go ahead and load up another piece for Nikki. Come here, Nikki. Here you go, Nikki. Nikki, pay attention. There you go. Push, push. Next for Nikki. I'm trying to take a picture. So go ahead. I'm more famous right away. <laughs> oh, I know. And we weren't. We were kind of concerned about how they would handle the cold temperatures. So actually, these two have radiant heating systems built into the floor. We can thermostatically control the temperature of these. Uh, they're actually septic tanks that we repurposed. That got donated from us or to us by a company in Springfield. We have a lid we'll put on it and then we cover the front so they keep nice and warm in the winter time. But these two handled the winter exceptionally well and so did Merlin actually. He was out there laying in the snow with his belly up. Come on buddy, you can do it. Ooh, look at you. Look you can at you. do it. Oh yeah. He's a good boy. Wow. Yeah, he'll come up and give me a head rub. That's his way of saying thank you and hello. Oh. Hi buddy. Hi buddy. He's a good lion. Oh, you're going to be that lazy today? <laughs> That lazy. Merlin came to us from the Kirby Van Birch Magic Show. Here you go, bud. Right here. Pay attention. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Look, buddy. Hey, Look, buddy. Right there. Merlin. Yeah. Merlin. You smell it? Right there. There you go. <gasps> you get it? There you go. You okay, it. next piece. He actually, from the time he was four months old till the time he was five years old, he lived indoors okay. backstage at the Kirby Van Birch Show. Here you go, bud. Merlin. Pay attention. Right here. Here's another piece. Here you go. I think it's a thigh. There you go. There you go. Oh! oh. Uh. <gasps> she gets a little possessive over stuff. Here you go. Push it back down in there again. Oh. No one's gonna take it from you. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good bark. That was a good bark, buddy. <laughs> you can see on the end of his nose, he's got what we call cage burn or cage rub. That's because he was in too small of an enclosure for too long with not enough to do, and they end up wearing the skin off of their nose. He's also been declawed, which is a bad thing. Um, what they do is they'll remove the first finger, finger bone in their fingers, and when that happens, they often get a tendectomy. Here you go, buddy. One more piece. One more piece. Which forces them to walk unnaturally. Uh, normally, the big cats will walk up on their tiptoes on those front pads on their paws. When they get to clawed, they end up walking flat-footed on the large pads, and that leads to early arthritis, hip oh. problems, shoulder problems, spinal problems. Teach. He thinks it's all about him. That's why he's got this nice central location here. He, he gets jealous if people go see other tigers, and that's why we had to put up that blind fence right there because... He, uh, make sure he gets pieces just like the one that you gave him before. Yeah, the boneless pieces. He's got a. He had surgery a couple of years ago, and since then he hasn't been able to handle bones really well. Here you go, buddy. It's coming. It's coming. He had an anaerobic gram stain negative. Yeah, he did. Bacterial infection, which uh, 
he had a mass in his airway. He was dying on us. Uh, we had to take him up to Mizzou to get an eight-hour thoracotomy, basically. They cut him from here all the way down to his belly. They cut through his chest bone, opened him completely up to where you could see his uh, heart and his lungs and everything. Uh, but they did remove a mass about this long and about that big around out of his airway. So that saved his life. Uh, we got that operation half price. It only cost us $25,000 oh. to keep TJ alive here. There you go, there you go buddy. TJ's. I tell everybody we have one kind of trainer here and they all have four legs. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like your animals at home. So it's kind Max, his brother. We'll put this right up to the Put one in there. There you go, buddy. Uh, you'll hear a crunch, crunch. Nope. Got it. He's eating. Nope. They're whole animal eaters in the wild. They will, uh... He says, I want some now! <laughs> there you go, buddy. Here he comes. They'll eat everything. Bones, everything except for the intestines and a couple of organs. But they'll, they'll crush that skull up of the animal they killed and they'll, uh... They'll eat every part of the animal. Are you ready? There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. One more piece for Maxie. I'm sorry. We always encourage people to pay close attention to the tigers, so when you come back, you're like, if you ever go to any other sanctuary, try and make sure they have the same cats there year after year, because if they don't, something's going on. Cool. Come on, let's get a snack. Come on, buddy. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hi. Oh, Hi. Hi. Oh, that's Hi. Here. There he is. Vincent's about 750, almost 800 pounds. He stands almost 11 feet tall when wow. he's standing up. He could grab a regulation sized basketball rim and with his front feet and start chewing on it with his back feet still on the ground. Wow, look at those teeth. There you go, a little farther. There you go. Good boy. Next. Vincent. He's our gentle giant. He doesn't have anything to prove to anybody because he knows he's the biggest. <laughs> he doesn't put on any airs or like his brother Paul over here, yeah. who's the smallest of the brothers. And you'll you'll see oh, he's, you're cool. he's a talker. He's right? got a little more of a attitude than Mince does. There you go. Let me have a piece of that, and we'll see if I can stand him up because he's really impressive. Sometimes he will, sometimes he won't. Stand up. Let's go. Come on, Vincent. Come on, show Vincent. off. Show off for the little Vincent. boy. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Stand up. One paw at a time. Oh, there right you here. go. There you go. Here, one paw there up. Go. One paw up and you can do it. There you go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Um, you don't want to do it tonight. You're lazy no. today, huh? No. You can tell who has who trained here. <laughs> All right, we'll save this one for Paul. And he'll also answer a question here for us in a second. Got to get that on video. Yeah. There you go. Uh, right. You gotta get it on video because he talks. Let me have a little piece like of he roars bucket. really loud. He'll usually stand up for us. Wally. He sees Jonah. Oh. He does. What's a tiger say? What's a tiger say? What's he say? What's a big tiger say? What does he say? What's a tiger say? Come here, Paul. Polly. Look, buddy. Polly. Look, buddy. What's a tiger say? What's he say? What's a tiger say? That's what a tiger says. That wasn't very loud though. What's a tiger say? What's he say? What's a tiger say? What's he say? That's what a tiger says. Now he'll also demonstrate a tiger's instinct. See now that I'm facing him? But when I turn around, he knows that's his opportunity to strike. They always wait till you're not paying attention. I'm six foot four. Wow. He's considerably taller than that. See his claw right there? That's a good body. That's a good body. What's the tiger say? What's he say? What's he say? That's what a tiger says. He's a good body. Come around. She's very clean. She, she's constantly grooming herself. She doesn't like to get dirty. You can tell. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, it's 
girl. It's a good girl. Get you, sweet guy. Oh. She's a sweet girl. Beautiful. Good girl. Oh, 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 oh. You make a lot of noise. Not as much as Tina, but some noise. We'll see Tina. She makes all kinds of noises. Cece, one piece. You want a snack? You want a snacky? Come here, Cece. Cece. Now she's been in heat. Sometimes she'll take a snack, sometimes she won't. Right here, baby. Right here. Mariah, maybe you want a piece? 